Hey, good morning, Quad Cities. We are going to continue to track in pretty clear, calm conditions for the first half of your day. Temperatures should push to the upper 60s, nearing 70 degrees. And then by this evening, you're going to start to notice that we build in the cloud cover all ahead of a system to bring in probably the best chance of rain we have seen for sure all month, if not for a few months as we get into this evening just after dinner time expecting those showers and storms to begin to push into the area especially on the Iowa side and then going to continue to filter in as we get closer to 10 o'clock and midnight and you can see the heaviest swath of rain is going to be along and south of I-80 still expecting though to see some shower and storm chances to the north of I-80 but the heaviest amounts definitely trending more south as we get into tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, getting ready to send the kids off to school, getting ready for work, should actually be dry. And we'll quickly clear the clouds out too, bringing back the sunshine by the afternoon. Highs stay in the mid-60s. With that storm chance tonight, we're still in a level one out of five threat for areas along the Mississippi River pointing to the west, mainly accounting for hail. Makes sense this time of year, especially because those upper levels of the atmosphere are getting very chilly. We have a lot more ice crystals present, so definitely seeing that hail threat in place. We'll continue to watch it very closely as we head through the morning and into the early afternoon. Here is a closer look at the timeline of those showers and storms. Around 9 p.m. could definitely start to see some heavy rain fall pick up with some of these storms too. And that kind of continues to filter across the I-80 corridor and into Illinois. Again, we're still expecting quite a bit of activity into early Friday morning, hoping that some of these uh, spots of heavier rainfall amounts off to the north of I-80 kind of pick up a little bit more. But regardless, I do think that we're on track to see those showers completely move out of the area, especially by the time we get to 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then we bring back that sunshine. Looking at the rainfall amounts along an I-80, that's where we see that potential to get anywhere from a half of an inch to an inch, maybe even getting a couple hometowns to pick up higher than that, depending on if you find yourself in some of those heavier downpours. Off to the north, I do think this might be underperformed a little bit. We could be talking about more hometowns picking up anywhere from a quarter of an inch, maybe even getting to a half of an inch as well. But regardless, at least some water is expected for our area. Looking at the eight day tracker though, after we dry those skies out Friday afternoon, we stay dry into the upcoming weekend with seasonable temperatures, highs in the 60s, but then very not seasonable next week as we get really windy conditions to shove us to around 80 degrees potentially by Tuesday. And then we'll return some more rain chances by the middle of next week.